Good afternoon, friends. Uh, greetings to all of you. Uh, here is my little sister, Yelena Hornikova. Uh, she also greets you all. Hi, everyone. And the guys uh, have prepared a list of questions for me. I am uh, ready to give all the answers, so let's start. All right, let's start. Um, everyone is uh, interested in a question about the marketing plan, about how it uh, can be worked with, um, if there is some hidden difficulty, uh, there are some hidden difficulties and uh, everyone is um, interested in uh, how to, how the network can be organized uh, correctly. I mean, uh, it's not just like everyone has active partners, right? Of course, yes. Uh, there are also uh, passive people who do not know how to invite, uh, but at the same time they uh, are ready to answer well. Uh, how can you take advantage of them? In fact, uh, passive people, uh, you can also divide all the those people into two categories. There are some who are passive fundamentally and they will never do anything as they are lazy or for some other reason uh, they can do anything. Uh, Helena, look whom to receive or not. Uh, here are some uh, new newcomers. Uh, there are those who are indeed ready to work but are lacking some confidence or they don't know how uh, and we can change these various settings uh, of a person because um, I'm going to make a new video dedicated to that topic because uh, in fact you have to uh, take some more uh, time to that uh, and uh, it's not that complicated when you have uh, the uh, understanding and uh, don't make the most uh, drastic mistakes. The hardest mistake of rookies is that they start to impose aggressively. They tend to ignore the interests of a certain person, but rather they focus on their own uh, uh, interests. Well, uh, something like that, quite uh, trivial. Mistakes of a person who doesn't know uh, how to sell. In fact, all of, uh, all of this can be learned. There is a basic set of rules, and uh, if the rules are followed, anyone uh, learn it. Uh, because, uh, in fact, uh, here you have uh, to show the result. And uh, uh, another very common mistake uh, is to uh, stop trying uh, as you fail. In fact, uh, any of us can fail and it happens all the time. All successful people are those who failed more than others, but they keep on doing, doing, doing. That's why they achieve any success. Mm, well, actually, we have a solution. Of course, the best is the main uh, force program because it's where new participants are best placed in terms of opportunities. But for the active ones, just in the uh, first two programs, uh, the classic and the boost, uh, it offers a wide range of uh, possibilities because they are just designed for the active promotion. And uh, in fact, all uh, three of these programs complement each other quite well. Uh, there are also opportunities for uh, passive people as well. Most of them are in the program number three, the backbone program. And uh, these opportunities may also exist in the first two programs, but they are not guaranteed. It's an important condition for the program to be stable so that it's not a typical pyramid, which promises profits for all. Uh, this pro projects ensure payments uh, at an early stage, like uh, that one inf infamous program given with uh, lots of hype, uh, with the obvious uh, result in the end. So yes, uh, you can uh, enter any of the three programs and you just have to inform people properly because we have a lot of experience with the phenomenon that people realize how it works. Uh, they understand that, in fact, it is not that complicated at all, uh, quite the contrary. Uh, so, uh, did I understand you correctly that you don't uh, have to place a person in a certain position from the start so he or she could uh, have uh, some profit? Of course, there are more opportunities to make a profit from the beginning, uh, but you should never guarantee it to people. Uh, do not make this mistake since we perform transparent open business, so uh, you can uh, make a profit or you shall not. Uh, and this is uh, that's something that uh, maintains its sustainability since uh, nothing is taken from the air, uh, the system is not damaged, uh, the system is stable. Even the forcage is uh, in which uh, there was nothing additional. Uh, the system was working and uh, would have continued to work uh, if not stigmatized and uh, thrown away as a financial pyramid. So, uh, if we're going to stop the system like we do with our metaverse, uh, uh, with the tokenomia and other uh, product that we're going to present, uh, then there should be, um, be even more sustainability. Uh, Lado, I'm eager to ask you a question. I'm Sergei Trainin. I'm an active participant. Hello, Sergei. Greetings. Uh, 
Look, I'm not going to ask you anything uh, at once. So uh, one of the questions uh, that arises from potential candidates, partners, regulators, leaders, uh, what is the uh, what is what is about uh, the passive income? Uh, how it is it? Uh, how is it provided? How people can see it? Uh, well, there is an active part of income that's clear, and uh, there is a passive part too. So, uh, what's about the passive part? Uh, what does it consist of? Uh, thank you. Well, first of all, uh, that's not guaranteed, but possible and uh, provided by the binary plan. That's the passive income. Uh, moreover, the force, the main program, is capable uh, of the biggest possibility for passive income provided by the coin because the tokenomy is very well developed. Uh, starting from the algorithm during the pre-sale period, it will make growth and uh, this growth will uh, continue. But we also have to point out that uh, nothing is guaranteed, but we're sure that... Uh, uh, but we are... But we are sure that uh, it will be uh, for a number of reasons that we uh, uh, can explain convincingly, uh, such as uh, we have limited currency issuance, meanwhile the currency will have constantly growing demand. All the three marketing strategies are working for the currency, so uh, there we already need the coins. Uh, we have already shown how to obtain the growth on the example of a product that uh, didn't even have an extra part. Uh, that is why we are sure that uh, here we are going to always have constant growth. More and more people who are going to withdraw coins to use them, uh, we are going to have products for which currency is still required. We are going to have uh, very active staking of two types. We do not explain the normal staking at all because uh, it is clear that uh, there may be the access and additional, it is clear. We're going to have a unique uh, staking model that uh, no one has yet used, which, um, like the rest of the income, is economically viable. And another passive income for those who enter on the pre-start stage. Uh, at the moment, uh, the project is being prepared. People will receive, receive NFT that can be used uh, later for access uh, uh, in uh, the metaverse. But also, if you uh, manage to receive uh, it uh, in the pre-sale instead, you will be able to uh, to use to earn income from uh, those products uh, of the metaverse, which is in fact, uh, which has become uh, possible thanks to you uh, as as a participant. Uh, Lado, uh, here, please give us some more details. What does it mean that uh, one can get uh, NFT? Not just can get, but surely get them. Uh, if you enter the program in the pre-sale phase at the beginning, while the coin haven't haven't entered the open market at this moment, for each level, you will receive your NFT. Your option is to wait until the moment when you'll be able to use the access to the metaverse, or to wait when it will be launched and become profitable and the interest will be distributed from the uh, from that income even furthermore uh well i understand uh now i want to ask about stacking for the sake of simplicity and clarity um can it be said that thanks to stacking uh certain interest is promised per month Uh, no, that's not so. Uh, this can be done in uh, financial pyramids, uh, as a rule. Everything has to be uh, economically feasible. Uh, there is an exact income on which uh, there is a certain interest uh, that we receive. There is a kind of stacking uh, through the DEX, the well-known one. People are going to exchange, to trade, one wants to sell, one wants to buy something on the basis of non-centralized exchange. Uh, there they uh, perform it uh, while paying uh, some fee for that. Eventually the fee may uh, constitute a great deal, but if you have uh, sent those coins to the liquidity pool uh, uh, to make uh, the exchange possible, uh, then you have to receive your tax on the interest uh, on the fee. If yes, it's quite clear, uh, it's economically feasible, uh, but we are going to have another type of stacking which we still keep a secret. Uh, what's about the secrets? Uh, I'll tell you beforehand uh, to avoid any further questions. We already see it in uh, practice that it does make sense. We have already opened uh, 
the classic marketing mode and I'm ready to open the boost marketing that I just said and uh, I was shown some slides for the video that is already prepared uh, wait another week and it's ready uh, the marketing schematics on uh, of the main uh, program force will be published a bit later and uh, that's why uh, look, uh, when we re released the classic, I was mentioning some main marketing points of the force. I wanted to show that it is something different uh, to make the whole situation clear. Uh, as in the classic matrix uh, that is divided, you cannot create uh, marketing with the, these products and uh, with this cryptocurrency uh, economy that is uh, supposed to be in the force. Here's the type of economy that was uh, required. There is uh, uh, there it was an interest of uh, fifteen percent declared. And what do we see? Just another financial pyramid merge uh, that is uh, copying the smart way with some changes and uh, they are called the force USDT and they are uh, talking about the 15% that are said of, of different levels. Uh, so we have the reason not to reveal all the information yet but uh, don't worry all the information required will be supplied in time. We have given some information in advance about the uh, classic model and we have already given some about the boost, although uh, we are waiting a bit for the classic. What's about the main program, we will uh, also give the information a little bit later. Uh, the stacking uh, starts a little later uh, when the presale will end, uh, when it will uh, be on the open market and there will be uh, an opportunity to gain some. Uh, this will surely interest uh, anyone who doesn't know uh, what marketing is. Uh, when uh, are they going to know uh, what the possibilities here uh, that is going to create a currency deficit and you know how the deficit influences uh, the price. Well, yes, I remember how it started back then. Um, strategic question. Uh, Leto, it is clear that most of uh, people are already organized apparently, so we will not be able to, in some respect, uh, uh, to control the whole marketing process. The need to press the button urgently, faster, higher, uh, the danger of raising your upper level. Uh, give me a friendly piece of advice, please, as uh, if we were uh, in a meeting now and you uh, give me an advice as to important leaders uh, about activities with their teams. Uh, yes, as a person with a lot of experience in that uh, sphere, I, I understand that uh, it is important and uh, uh, it was uh, it was a very uh, very painful experience of mine with uh, the forcage because uh, my former uh, my former partners did not understand me as they never had a deal with uh, something uh, similar and uh, didn't understand that one cannot make a domain name forcage.io uh, as a reference link id1 which i was talking about later uh, I've been arguing about it a lot, but nothing had been implemented or adjusted. Uh, of course, in the force, there won't be anything of that, uh, anything of that sort. Uh, and uh, there's no ground for a situation when, uh, where one person at a time is going to be on the ID one, just as uh, in the beginning, many uh, things are already performed, but... Uh, at the same time, uh, it should be done that uh, it won't, it, it would not uh, turn out that one gets some privileges that are not accessible to others. Uh, I was designing it uh, this way in order to prove, uh, to provide poss possibilities to gain any privilege as someone uh, active enough, even a little, would have it. Uh, starting from the bot, we were opening it, then closing it. Then once more uh, we were uh, opening it and uh, people were still asking but if we op open it now uh, we'll have to push the date and uh, we're not going to do so but uh, that was not a large number. In fact we have uh, not yet started uh, our promotion campaign properly. We were only 
we were only informing the people and as a result we have around uh, 15,000 people, which is uh, quite a small am amount. Uh, even in the fourth age there were 2 million, but even this amount w won't, will seem uh, quite small. Therefore the sequence is uh, as follows. Now those who entered uh, through the bot uh, have to fix the their hierarchy, uh, then report their accounts to their peers, etc. Uh, lads, uh, good afternoon. Uh, since we are talking about the bot, uh, one question, please. Uh, have you ever intended to technically separate those who uh, register for the first time and those who have uh, already been uh, registered since we give links to their accounts? If someone has the account uh, in the bot and uh, did it beforehand, so someone doesn't and uh, everything is confused. Uh, uh, it is not uh, possible, for example, for rookies to only open just stage 3 and 4 so that they could uh, enter the team. Uh, thus, we would um, uh, eliminate any mess. Uh, it causes some discomfort due to these uh, technical challenges. Uh, th thanks in advance. Mm, well, uh, the thing is that uh, initially uh, the bot had uh, been designed uh, in order to uh, give those uh, former force each uh, participants uh, access and uh, let them in freely, but uh, that opportunity is now closed because uh, otherwise we would have to postpone with the rest. Uh, it is an uh, additional option that we don't need now, and uh, as it is now obsolete, we have to move on. It is something that uh, holds our uh, holds us holds our progress tight. Uh, it will be bad for the system uh, if we open it again and uh, change the uh, preset deadlines, but we have everything so that uh, each one uh, enters uh, as it should. It is the matter of internal organization. We, for our part, uh, follow that uh, no one randomly enters on the ID1. Uh, I have already called the uh, quite low number in the bot, so uh, those who answer now are some of the first people. Everyone who is going to answer one of the two programs before the force will already be within the uh, within the reference system and uh, will have the possibility of entering the force faster than uh, those who only enter the force. The idea is that uh, we gain popularity little by little uh, in a smooth way. If we take over uh, the force each, uh, what is happening now is not a movement. I have a very popular question from uh, those who who participated in the uh, force each and uh, from those who want to enter the to, to enter the force. When will there be the priesthood? Uh, there will be uh, several stages. Uh, uh, there will be the start of the classic that we planned for the uh, 10th of May. Uh, you have to test the codes before publishing because, uh, uh, because later you won't be able to change much. Uh, testing, uh, we're gonna uh, provide some testing to find false errors as uh, there will be errors always it makes some uh, it takes some time to uh, make adjustments and uh, to check everything properly but uh it is not that uh, the start is scheduled on the 10th uh, of may uh, but there are um, but th this is something that we're planning now uh there will be a pre-start part that will last for three months during which there will be a 50% discount for everyone who enters then there will be the most interesting uh, 
so uh is it a discount for anyone who is uh, going to join going to enter during uh, the three months uh yes uh anyone who enters uh, either via the bot or not has given a chance to raise money and develop uh well uh let's all uh could you please clarify it uh, for me uh then uh if a rookie if a newcomer uh agrees with the possibility and wants to go with me uh to take my leadership uh uh, what does he have to do? Uh, enter the boat, uh, fill in some uh, information or what? Um, some kind of... What are the requirements? A uh, member who uh, was not registered or who was registered but still needs to fill in uh, some information? Um, I, didn't, I didn't understand the, the question. Uh, for the new ones who enter through the boat, um, no, 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 uh, the bot is uh, already closed and uh, it is uh, a system for the people to go from uh, the old system to the new one. Our newcomers, our rookies don't need the bot anymore. Uh, the question is uh, due to how it was uh, in uh, other systems where even a few minutes were important. Uh, in our case, it is not so that uh, if you enter an hour later or a day later, uh, that's it, you lose anything. No, there is not that case. Uh, not in this situation, not with uh, this uh, project. Now, uh, the issue is not that. Uh, I'm talking about something else. Uh, do the newcomers have to fill out uh, a form? Uh, no. And I'm actually asking everyone to stop talking about the bots in regular chats because it doesn't matter. Some may know it uh, before the newcomers enter, while it doesn't matter at all. And of course, those who come aboard much earlier may get some more perks, but uh, there isn't a big deal. Uh, you've met the topic uh, right now, you get together right now. Uh, some may gain some more due to their precedence. Uh, it's a normal situation. Uh, well, Lazo, uh, all right, we have a pre startup for us the idea, the plans, and uh, so on, and everything is fine. But since there is a lot of talk about uh, the Force USDT and uh, other stuff, uh, what answer should we give uh, to everyone? Uh, we have a certain position uh, to prove. And, uh, well, uh, uh, they try, uh, several of uh, their leaders, uh, they try to blame us for what looks similar. Uh, they have uh, already been, uh, uh, they, ha they have already seen something like uh, this and so on. Um, so the question is, uh, what answer should we give them? Uh, uh, how should we answer them? Mm. Uh, well, uh, there was uh, already something like that, uh, but uh, in uh, practice, uh, everyone sees that everything works, uh, as I said from the very beginning, uh, that the Forsage uh, was and is a long-term project. Uh, oh, sorry, it was. Uh, now the Force, we take the best, improve, optimize, uh, the uh, the answer is study marketing. Uh, here everything is economically feasible. Uh, there is going to be an uh, an income that is unexplained. Everything can be reviewed. Uh, you can wait, see. So the forced USDT and uh, other similar uh, pyramids uh, appear from nowhere and vanish in no time. We are going to continue to develop our project for a long time as before uh, but now even with the uh, more more force uh, well thank you our answers coincide um, 
I myself answer in a prefer to answer in a similar manner, and uh, many comprehend it via practice. Uh, with all of those who say that, uh, well, uh, it's a great answer. Uh, if we want to talk about it in more detail, uh, I'm ready to. Uh, well, friends, does anyone have uh, more questions? Uh, we have five minutes left. Hello, everyone. Any questions? Uh, my name is Alexey, and I'm here thanks to Telegram. I have a question. Uh, when will you be able to hire the uh, people who will uh, translate all the media uh, and promotional content into uh, in different languages for Vietnam, Japan, uh, China? It is just that I have some important leaders in uh, uh, Vietnam who are waiting for the presentation. I have already uh, talked uh, with a leader in Japan. He says that uh, he has one and a half thousand people who are interested, but I cannot give them uh, the information because uh, uh, the, there is no uh, information in foreign languages. Uh, we are already uh, working on that. Uh, we have already chosen uh, 25 uh, most uh, popular languages, not all together. Uh, apart from English, uh, we're now working on uh, translating uh, everything into Spanish, Vietnamese, uh, to Chinese, uh, Korean, Indonesian. Uh, we have not yet uh, had a demand for Japanese, but it is on the list of uh, of twenty five uh, of twenty five languages. Uh, it is very important for us, and uh, we're working on it. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Uh, in the future, when everything is uh, going to work uh, properly, is it planned to hold uh, meetings of the leaders in different uh, countries or the leaders themselves are going to organize the events? Because uh, uh, I say in my experience, it's, it's pretty important. Agreed. Um, yes, it's important. Uh, talking about the... Uh, history of uh, our previous stage. I even promised that I uh, would ar arrive myself, but the plans have been screwed up by the COVID. So the leaders themselves were organizing various events uh, on their own. But now I think, yes, uh, there is much more freedom of uh, movement and uh, uh, as well as uh, flights and uh, uh but uh you have to plan it uh, thoroughly before doing so uh to know the uh, the objectives and uh, tasks in fact it is an uh, appeal to all of you we must develop the work offline uh, with all the possibilities of uh, working online, it is uh, very good to be able to work uh, in person. Uh, so it is still valid. Uh, yes, it's, it, it requires more resources, but it works fine. Uh, there is a particular environment because of offline which people need. Uh, yes, the uh, energy attracts people. Uh, uh, maybe it's even a spiritual uh, level or something of this sort. Uh, although you can work uh, online if you prefer so, because some may uh, find it uh, more useful. Uh, yes, uh, look, I work at Facebook. Uh, I find good leaders and uh, they work offline, uh, they open offices and work offline. And I also wanted to ask if some uh, kind of brand book is uh, going to be developed. Uh, yes, we are working on that in particular. We're working intensely uh, on it. I get it. Uh, because the Vietnamese, for example, uh, love to wear t-shirts uh, with a logo, thus showing it everyone while walking or visiting restaurants. Even so, quite interesting. Um, yes, we have a very uh, thorough approach. Um, understood. Thank you. Uh, what plans are regarding the token project? Mm, about the token uh, grant plans, uh, I've told about a, li a little. The token is going to be launched with the main uh, force program. The pre-sale is possible uh, only if 
the uh, the program and uh, via marketing. So the issuance is limited, and uh, in three months it will be released uh, on the open market, and uh, it it can be used in different parts. Will make you highly demanded, and uh, the entry to the stock exchange will be possibly uh, even without or uh, would be possible even without it or participation. But we will also uh, make uh, a move if necessary. Uh, thank you very much for the answers, for taking the time. I hope that our con uh, conferences will be uh, more and more attractive and productive. Mm -hmm.